YouTube, this is David here with Code One Solutions. Today we have a 2021 Chevy Tahoe where we installed a very nice lights and sirens package. And in today's video, we're gonna go through the lights and how we configured it for this upfit. This video is a part two video. So if you haven't yet seen part one, check it out in the link hovering on your screen right now. Before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our channel for more lights and sirens content, and hit the ring bell, uh, the ring button so that you get notifications whenever we put out more videos. With that being said, let's get started. We're gonna go through the lights first. We're gonna go through how they're configured. And then after that, we're gonna go through the siren package and everything that goes with it. Let me just go back to the car. We're gonna turn it on. All right, so right now we have all the lights in response mode, in red response mode. And the reason why I say red response mode is because this is a pretty cool install where it has tri-colors on most of the lights and we have three different response modes. So this is the red response mode. So the front, inner, the front bar, you're looking at a Wayland Inner Edge XLP Duo. Uh, they don't make a trio, but it is, a, it is a duo and it's actually pretty cool how we configured it. In the grills, you have four Wayland Ion trios over there. Flashing the high beams is just a, a wire being flashed from the core. I'm not sure if you could see this on video. Behind the grill over there, we have a nice um, a flood bar that goes over there that is also gonna be flashed by the core. Let's go around this side of the car. By the front wheel well area, we have sound off and power. Uh, that's a dual color, uh, white and blue. Reason why we chose the M Power for this particular location is because the customer did not want any holes that can't be covered up after the lease is up. So we went with the sticky mount, the quick mount. Uh, there's only one tiny hole for the wires to go through and the rest is just stickered on. So when the time comes to remove it, we just remove the light and there's we put a plug in there, factory looking plug. Next, we have over here under the mirrors, we have the sound off interceptors. Under the running board, we have the Whalen tracers in a trio color configuration. Right now it's flashing only in red, white. For the back third side window, we have a Whalen Dual Avenger trio. Uh, it's a Whalen Dual Avenger 2, the newer one is a trio. For the back, for the back we have the brake lights and the reverse lights flashing from the core. Uh, we did do a conversion on these. They're originally halogen. We converted it to LEDs. And in the top bar, we have uh, the Strobes and More E66 dual color bar. Additionally, on the hatch itself, we have two Wayland Ion Ts in the hatch. Right now it's flashing red and blue. When the customer is in amber mode, they flash amber. We also tap those lights onto the amber lights of the car. So anytime the hazard lights are on, those lights are on as well. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it for all of the lights. Now let's go through some of the sirens and that kind of stuff. And then we'll go through all of the programming and special features that we added in. So for the siren controller, so we'll just start the car. Okay, so for the siren controller, we have the Whelan 21 push button core. This has a, a secondary expansion module for the a secondary siren. Additionally, we also have the Whelan howler on that. So going through the buttons over here, we have standby, horn siren, hands-free. In a few other videos, we discussed the horn siren and hands-free. You can check out those other videos to see more about the difference between those two. The top row is pretty much all Wayland standard sirens. I'm just gonna start the car over here so we don't kill the battery. So the top row is pretty standard Wayland siren tones. The only difference is the horn is the air horn classic and manual is just the uh, manual stop, not the manual coast. And that's what it sounds like with the howler on. We went through a lot of the other stuff in uh, video number one, but just to go over it really quickly, these, this row is just additional siren tones. Okay, so that's that's for the for that row. Now for this row over here, this is this is take down uh, left side, take down right side, take down in partial partial takedown for the front, and this is full front takedown. And I'll show you in a second what um, what is on, what is off. So let's turn these. Let's turn the lights off. We'll start with 
take down left. So take down left turns on the front white M powers, the tracers in all white, and the third side windows in white. Turn that off. Now let's do front takedown in low mode. So there is that floodlight that I was talking about. So front takedown will turn on only that floodlight over there. So we're gonna press that button again, the front takedown, and that's gonna be full takedown. And that's gonna turn on the floodlight, the four ions in the grill. It's gonna turn on the high beams also, and it's also gonna turn on the in reg in all white. Right takedown is the same thing as left takedown. Front flash, check this out. Front flash turns on the front floodlight in flashing mode. And the reason we put that on a separate button is because we don't want that to always go on whenever the customer's responding. We want, we want the ability to turn it on, but we don't want it to always go on by default. So if customer's responding, if they want, they can add in the front flash to have a more, of, more of an effect. If not, it doesn't go on automatically. Okay, next button is clear. So clear is to add in um, a little bit of white flashing. So it adds the, the grills in white, the front high beams, the front wheel well area, it does not add in the front interior bar for the customer's request. It flashes the tracers in white. It flashes the third side window in white. This doesn't do anything in the back. And for those of you that paid close attention, you'll notice that the clear button on the core is flashing also. Uh, okay, so traffic advisors. Traffic advisor left, traffic advisor center, traffic advisor right. Both of them on is center. I'll show you what center out is like. Uh, you know what, let's just do this. Let's go into mode two, which is red mode. We'll do a full 360 this time. Now we'll do blue mode. So that's gonna be slide switch three. And in slide switch one, we have traffic advisor. The back, traffic advisor. And just white flashing. And also check this out. All right, that pretty much covers it for most of the siren. Now for some of the cool features. So if you take a look at the keypad right now, you'll notice the brightness. The backlight is at full brightness. What we did is that when the customer is responding in during the day, it's at full brightness. And at night, we dimmed it. So if you turn on the headlights as if it was nighttime, now you'll see the keypad went to half brightness. There you go, full brightness, half brightness. Another thing we added in, hit the air horn. Okay, we'll, we'll look out the car. We'll look at our, here, let's see how well you could see that tiny mirror over there. So the air horn turns on all of the front floods everywhere. Another thing we added in. So under normal use with none of the sirens on, nothing going on. You open the front driver's door, the tracers turn on in white, and the front wheel well lights also turn on in white. Pretty cool, huh? Let me think. That's pretty much most of the stuff that I could think of off the top of my head right now. That pretty much covers it for this build. If you could please like this video, it would really help us out. Please subscribe to our channel and set the bell to 
get notifications when we put out new videos. Additionally, if you're in the tri-state area and you are in the market for an emergency vehicle installation, please give us a call. Contact information is down below. If there's anything else you want to see in other videos, please leave a, let us know in the comments section down below. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.